I'm having a look at the one-shot wonders from Roll and Play Press. Over 100 session ideas for RPGs. I see it's separated into categories of sorts. Up in the hills, underground, on the coast. And we have the characters, locations, quick stats, adjusting for different sized parties, adventures for new players, epic combat, roleplay based, dungeons, and then we get out into chapter one, Out in the Cold. So the adventures generally cover two pages, easy. I have already done a video on fishy business and loved it. So I guess we're just gonna pick one at random. But first, I would like to show that some come with these maps. Now the big maps, physical maps, is something I do also want to get my hands on next. I, God, I love a map. But there are also these little pages where they have very, very quick hints at missions. So students of snow I've picked at random. High Priest Freud taught her acolytes how to master divination magic in her arctic sanctuary. It's said that Freud still teaches even after her death. A young priest has asked the party to help him find the lost school. And we have Collard Payel, human male, 18, neatly fitting robes, certain expression, tightly pulled bun, show this acolyte's sincerity and spirit. And it poses some questions as to why is Collard seeking out the coach? Will this spirit even show up? There's a staff of frost still hanging on a wall there. And it's just enough to fill a story beat, fill an hour, lead somewhere completely invented, which is, in D&D, exactly what you need. But we're going to be looking at a fuller ad in adventure. I'm gonna scroll down to here. The Sunken Crown, why not? Okay, so it breaks down the adventure into it's adventurous, it's about acquisition, and it's underwater. And they're all they're all broken into these subsections so you get an idea of what you're looking at. So I see that this is for five to six levels and could be made easier or harder with slight adjustments. The party has to track down a hall of artwork stolen by thieves. Find the loot was taken by somebody else. It's now owned by an artistically minded giant who likes to dispose of items by dropping them into acidic ooze. That's great. That's great. That's all I need. You go to a noble's home and all the arts missing. Private collection was stolen by thieves. He wants all 20 pieces back. Unfortunately, the party will soon discover the art has been stolen again. Important characters, Doran, an affluent art lover, okay. Long blonde hair, stares forlornly, puffs out his cheek in despair. Lila, halfling, a thief. Fraser, the stone giant, the art, taste of their own medicine, giant problem, critical reputation. As the parties reach the art, Fraser will attack and try to throw them into the great ooze. He will make a trade if items of sufficient value are offered. And then we have Bandit, Black Pudding, Great Ooze, Noble Stone Giant. Some key locations, secrets and clues, quest reward. And there's loads of these adventures. We'll keep you going for ages, but there is more. So with the chapters also in location subsections, you can jump quickly to a town event or a legendary adventure, whatever you choose. Level nine plus. Teacher's pet, spooky, confrontation in a deserted village. So the same other sections of what it gives you, again, you can make it harder or easier, but a two page spread with quick stats just to make things run smooth. Oh, lovely maze map underneath here. And then with chapter nine, we go even deeper, which is completely unexpected. We never asked for this. All those one shots was good enough, but we can actually have a world setting if you wish. And I love the art of how it's split into different sections so they can fit all these adventures in a world. Mirabilis, I want to say. You have government, the regions, a hex map for when you're traveling around the, the area, cities and towns, small settlements, how to plot a campaign and connect your stories, a section on making a character, playing a session. So it's good for new starters. Running combat, common complications, conditions, chases, etc. Traps and hazards. I mean, I love it when a project promises a thing and adds on other things. Riddles and puzzles and rewards for the party. And then we have a really good cataloging in the index. So you can find a spooky tale quickly or an escape adventure. And then a monster index followed by all the supporters. So if you buy the map pack as well, you can run it with your minis 
on certain adventures. The Tomb's Tome has a, a map here, and so yeah, I could draw it out, but not as nice as the art is here. If we have it on a physical map, that would be wonderful. Let's take a quick look at the trailer. Since its launch, Game Masters have asked us again and again for more battle maps for the adventures, and so here we are, crowdfunding for the map library. The map library is the ultimate collection of battle maps for fantasy RPGs, with digital versions also included with the box set. This case of over 60 maps folds open into a freestanding pocket, so you can easily flick through and choose the map you need for your game. Every battle map in the map library has a 1 inch grid and is dry erasable, so you can easily mark down traps, hazards and spell effects. Each stunning map is inspired by an adventure in one-shot wonders, which means you have a D&D session ready to play for every map in the box. If you don't have a copy of One-Shot Wonders, you can pick up one as part of the Kickstarter campaign. The book has over 100 D&D adventures that come with locations, characters, session plans and more, so you can prep your next game in minutes. The index inside the map library makes it even easier to find the best map for your game. They look great, don't they? If you have the book and the maps, I mean, wow. Now, of course, you can add to these pages and put your own things in. You'll have to improvise anyway. You could pre-plot three of these adventures in a row that make sense to you and just see where you end up. With all different areas to cover, it is just so, so useful. And with other fantastic products out and coming. I just think this is a great company to watch. Now, full disclosure, I have since got an affiliate link. If you want anything from these people, Roll and Play Press, then you can get 10% off by using my code at checkout, which is Robodad110, and that should give you 10% off what you spend. Go and check these videos out, follow them on social media, back these guys, they're gonna go a long way.